Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 13th of 2023 well, it is titled Young Star Cluster NGC 346. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. And in it, we can see the distinctive pattern of, of diffraction around the stars in the image that we associate with the Webb Telescope. And that's been very common that we've seen. And it's a matter of the optics. It's not something that can be eliminated. It is a natural part of any type of telescope like this that will give a diffraction pattern to a rel relatively bright point source of light like a star. And we can see that distinctive pattern as it goes through there. Now what we're looking at is the star cluster known as NGC 346. And this is not a part of our galaxy, but is actually a part of a satellite galaxy to our Milky Way, which is known as the small Magellanic cloud. And in it, we see not only the star cluster here up above the gaseous region, but we also see some of that gas and dust around it showing that the star formation is still ongoing. So when a star cluster forms, the entire cluster does not form all at once. It takes a little bit of time for it to do, to occur. Now it's relatively short on astronomical time scales, but very long for human time scales. So we will not see these new stars form within our lifetimes or even within multiple lifetimes. It can take tens or hundreds of thousands of years for the process to continue. Now when we see these we see that the dust and gas is being sculpted by the energy from these hot stars and you'll notice in some several many cases that there are tendrils kind of pointing up toward the star cluster. These are some darker denser areas and at the tip of these are likely stars that are still currently forming and will and will continue to form. Now, what does this look like today? Well, that's a good question. As I said, this could take tens or hundreds of thousands of years. However, this cluster is about 200,000 light years away. And what that means is this image just take, taken by the James Webb telescope is out of date. It's already 200,000 years old. These stars have had time to change. Some of them have likely exploded as supernovae. New stars have formed and the patterns within the gas have changed. However, because light takes a specific amount of time to travel, it only travels at a finite velocity. That means that we can't know what it looks like today for another over 200,000 years. It will take that long for the light that is leaving this area today to reach us here on Earth. So this is quite common in astronomy. We never see anything as it is right now. Even our moon, we see it as it was about a second or so ago. Our sun about eight minutes and stars can be tens or hundreds or thousands of years ago stars within our galaxy. And when we look further out in space, we are looking further back into time and seeing things as they were much in much in the much distant past. So we never see anything exactly as it is today. So that was our picture of the day for January 13th of 2023. It was titled Young Star Cluster NGC 346. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.